And uh, target species, I think, today is going to be something that I haven't gone out and caught for a while. Usually don't go out and chase this species of fish very often because it's pretty far away. And, um... The lake that these fish really are prolific in, ice is over kind of lake, comparatively speaking, to the other lakes in the region. So the ice on there isn't as good as your big lakes like Leech Lake and Bemidji and Cass Lake. It's, uh, it's a little bit different. It's a spring-fed lake. I'm going to try to get out there during daylight today. And... Um, Drill some big holes. I'm just gonna go light. Productive. There's big gravel bars and mid lake humps uh, throughout this lake, and bourbon are great on gravel. Certain times of year, I mean, that's where you get them. Yeah, and I'm gonna try to get my own bait on my way to the lake. So I'm gonna take the long way to get there, but that's okay because psh, I'm just going fishing today. No bait. Gonna have to stop and buy some. So I hadn't really planned on being the first one to drive out on the lake this year, but as you can see, it looks like one brave person made it out exactly this far. There's the boat landing. So I don't really know what that means, but I'm gonna pop some holes. Uh, got me a tape measure, got me an auger. See what happens. Hit about 16 inches of ice right here. 16. So I've got burbot in this bay. So 13 inches of ice out here. We're a little closer to the middle. So 16, 13. Hey, we got a spot flow. What do you think? So I think I decided I could drive my truck out here. <clears throat> so I've started to make a habit of strapping stuff down in the sled. It seems like less stub falls out. That should be good. Augers out on the ice. Come on, Flo. Let's go to the fishing spot. Pulling the sled. Flower knows the spot. Northern Men, Mountain Lakes, Burbit. So it's not really what I'm doing that's so special, it's what I'm using. I have these homemade glow spoons. They rattle, they're heavy, they get down there fast. Um, tip them with a handful of fatheads. You know, because yum. Drop her down to the bottom. See what happens. When we when I first set up here, there was something down the bottom. So we'll see what happens. If it's still there, what? Oh yeah, there it is. It's actually back. That's awesome. Okay. So <clears throat> just down the bottom of the lake. You can see it on my marker that. I'm bouncing on the bottom of the lake. I'm getting the big fat flutters. So it's all about kapow. Ooh. 
perfect. Dinger, dinger, dinger. That's what we're after. Uh, nice little eel pout. Little guy. Not super big, but super pretty. Yeah, eel pout. So, you got an eel pout here. Kind of a little guy. They're known to curl up like that. Whew. Have him for supper later. Little guy. You want to kiss the fish flow? Slimy. So this is a little guy. We'll let him go. We'll go over here. Bye bye fishy. So that's pretty cool. They're biting right at dark. I still see fish on the finder down there on the bottom. I'm gonna hang out a little bit longer and see if I can catch some more fish.